Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net and I do have a .net and it's a, a good safe hosting. Please feel free to, uh, well it's going to be changing generally over the next little while. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I do know the hostess, hoster is cleaning it up a little bit and PayPal will be easier to function on. Thank God. It's been since the big, since my very first Wisdom Seekers, PayPal has been a butt. This is my logo. And uh, if you want to find me, I'm on, of course, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And I do have to start doing TikTok and Instagram again. I just waited to see what was going to happen to TikTok, whether it was going to exist or not. So... I guess I'm starting to wake up finally. The very last card is set. I'm going to wake up. So the first card is the energy of, not, not necessarily the specifics, but I do think it has to do with male energy for water. And this man I like. He's somebody who has a, uh, he sees things. He's wise. He doesn't interfere unless you ask, and then he has to believe that it's the right thing to do. So the energy is exactly that. Somebody who, the energy of the masculine, allowing it to be the mature form of the masculine to come into our lives. And that would be very positive and up, upbeat. And I'm very, I would be very excited about that. Because when we do, and I'm ta I'm assuming that most of the people who watch are female, but that applies to the male as well. But when we do uh, uh, agree with each other, work with work together, masculine, feminine, positive, negative, yin, yang, it gives us a balance. And it doesn't matter what the balance is, as long as it's balanced. It doesn't have to be 50-50. People always make the mistake of thinking it has to be 50-50. No, it doesn't. It can be 60-40, 70-30, as long as the balance works for individuals and the society. So, there, and there in certain circumstances, the, ma the male's going to be the stronger. In certain circumstances, the female's going to be the stronger. You can, it doesn't have to stay static. You know, so allow yourself to be in a relationship that is not stagnant by staying 50-50, but can move and shift as the necessity requires of it. This is going to take a subconscious choice. It's, it is, this is not something that's conscious in your mind, so and, and what's going to come up for May 2nd is something that's been chipping away at you for a while and it's going to pop to the surface for you to deal with. And it's a, it's a very positive thing, honest to God. The more balanced you are, the more, more you can intercede and understand the other, other energy. That, that So, for instance, if you're 99% positive, and you don't understand the negative, then you cannot deal with life. But if you understand the positive and you allow yourself to be understand the negative, then you can deal with life. And I'm talking negative as a yin-yang kind of thing. Being right all the time isn't necessarily right. Sometimes being accepting that there's other things in life that could that you don't know it could be very important so use your intuition and again this is the masculine form of intuition far sighted you go look for it you go search for it you you find it under under different things the truth is it is time for a change you've done well that's a, this is a card of doing well, but knowing it's time for a change. 
And the change, a little bit of the change has to do with allowing yourself to believe in magic. And we're moving into the fifth dimension. If we're moving into the fifth dimension, we need to allow true magic into our lives because the, the laws are different. We need to be able to move with the move with the energy and with we can't move with the energy with we're stuck in the physical and in the third we're going to be very messed up so we want to be open and and charmed by something that comes in that's new and it has to be done with a balance of the energy doesn't matter what the balance is but we need the balance so there is the hangman and that, that's a major arcana. In this case, it's talking about so much is happening that we are totally unaware of. Our minds haven't yet grasped the fact that this is, this is how it's, going, it's moving and shifting. But it is. So, and the hangman also, the, the Odin, he, could, he was blind and I think it was his left eye, so he could see into the other other worlds allow yourself to be able to see into the other worlds allow the new energy to shift and form around you and reshift and form around you because it hasn't settled into a into a, a concrete understandable relationship it will feel a little bit like sand shifting beneath your feet when we get into the fifth dimension it may still be the same. I don't know. I it, it until we get there fully, we won't know. But it's going to be fun. Allow it to happen, because three of cups is celebration, and we want to celebrate. We want to enjoy life. We we have worked very hard, uh, releasing all our old stuff. It hasn't been fun. We want to have fun. We are allowed to have fun. We should have fun. So, namaste. Let's go. I love you and you I do love. Bye.